One, two, three, four. Yeah, go! Hey everyone, I'm Nano Elite Six Six Six, and you're watching me play Doom Eternal. We are back. I am uh, in the process of retrieving my Crucible Blade, which I just pulled out of this giant dead guy here, and I broke the blade off. So now I have to go to my vault, presumably to find something to fix it with. So I can, you know, have a the blade. The world of Argent Anur has fallen. Divided, the demonic energy flows now to the south, and the society you once knew has been replaced by a corrupted world under Maker rule. It did not need to end this way. No, it probably didn't. But it totally did end this way. So... We just have to deal with the consequences. On the other hand, that's more demons for me to kill murder to death. An empowered pinky. All right, Painty. Regular Pinky. Blood punch the Pinky. All right. That's three different glory kills. Excellent. Ow. Pinky used headbutt. It's mildly effective. Pinky's butt came off. Alright, anything else here fun to find? I lied, I'm not done with the with the uh, challenges yet. I still gotta find some more lore entries. But, those will come in time. Oh, I still have lots of stuff to find in this level. Anyways, where am I looking for trying to go? Probably, th probably this over here. That works. Oh, elevator. Excuse me, I'll just break physics here and, uh... Did I take both you and your friend out? I think I did. Sticky bombs, ladies and gentlemen, they're pretty great. Alright, another suit point. Oh, there's a lore book down there. Shit. How did I 
miss that. Uh, because that's not how I get to it. This is how I get to it. I go, ha ha! History of the Sentinels, Part 12. The truth could not be denied. The unholy spires raised in the barren lands functioned by blessing of maker machinery. The Khan had betrayed Argent and Ur and made and had made concert with the demons to harvest their essence in return, granting them access to all the worlds under her influence. A symbiotic relationship had formed, and darkness now had been balanced by a light, for there, where there was heaven, so there would be a hell. The followers would be granted passage to Erdok, and the sinners would fall into the fiery pits of the Dark Realm. This world would be spared from all... With this word would be spread from all cultures in all worlds and in all places. We were not without blame, for it was our people, the priests and sentinel engineers, who'd laid the work in place. Argenta's slaves had built the dark factories, and our own ancient wraith energy helped purify Hell's elixir into the miracle fuel that now powered the Maker's world and our own. The Night Sentinels spoke of the evil brought by the Essence, and carried their word to all who would listen. We had helped to create this new dichotomy, and so it must be for the Argentas to, to stop this... To stop the spread of this pestilence, this new phase of existence, the dark and the light. If not for us, then for the innocent whose worlds have yet to fall under the spell of the Maker God and her unseen allies in the Hell Dimension. Even when the Night Sentinels returned from that demonic realm with tales of slave factories that damned the souls of the innocent, the indoctrinated masses of Argentiner took no quarrel with the Makers. They were indebted to the demon essence, the ministers to liberating but finding no basis for change. The messengers were cast down for daring to speak against those who have gifted us so much, our gods. The makers, in their infinite wisdom, would see fit that the faithful continue life anew in our deck. They feared the wrath of the mother god. A lifetime of servitude would not be undone by this insurrection. This was simply another trial, a test of faith to identify those that were truly worthy to experience life eternal in our deck. The Argenta would not waver in their resolve. The Night Sentinels prepared for war once again, though this battle meant drawing the blood of their own brothers. Our army had seen the work of the demons firsthand and knew its evil. They had returned to the way of the wraiths, and though their armament was diminished without essence, it remained pure and righteous. A division amongst the Argenta had occurred, on one, one side standing in opposition to the doctrine of the Makers, the other locked in belief. The Ascended Empire was comprised of the faithful and misled, wielding the desecrated energies of Hell, the power of the Makers, and marauders who had sided with the Khan. The Night Sentinels were bolstered by the free people of Argenta, and the mightiest of all killers, the Slayer himself. Plans and tactics were drawn. The Sentinels would close the Argent Energy Factories in Necroval, that would, which fed the... That which fed the world of Erdak directly with its supply of fresh essence. They would stop the flow, the slumbering ra wa <coughs> Too many words can't read straight. The slumbering wraiths would wake from their sleep and give Argent and Ur courage. Ah, Dudes fight each other. Alright. Now, a sentinel crystal. Let's see. Uh, yeah. Get that. There. Right. Got one more health and one more armor to do. Hey, buddy. Is that it? Is it just a jump across there? Why, it would appear so! Spawning ammo.
Respawning ammo. But how much ammo can I carry? I don't know, but me sitting in there with time slowed with the weapon wheel open isn't helping it respawn any faster. Well, that's for sure. One eighty. Probably set that up with the intention that you would need two people to open the vault. But I am the Doom Guy and did it by myself! Yay! History of the Sentinels! Part 13. For years the Civil War raged and took its toll on the soldiers as their armor laid stained with the blood of their brothers on a cursed battlefield. Finally, an opportunity to end the war had been discovered by the Order of Dag. By the Order Dag and the Night Sentinels, with the Slayer at the head of their army, they gathered to traverse through the gate and surrender and sunder Necroval, the city of the dead. The Order of the Dag, the high priests who pled pledged their allegiance long ago to the Night Sentinels, hmm, that doesn't seem to have stuck, worked in service of our mission. The, those holy priests who had served Argento since time immemorial assured us that the way was clear. A plan was set to march into the accursed walls of Necroval and smite the factory, cutting off the flow of essence to Erdak and denying the con maker of her prize. Our forces took spear in hand and advanced, and it was there that the venom of treachery struck. Dun dun dun. Upon entry through the poor hell portal, the night sentinels were scattered to the winds of unplanned chaos. Our warriors were separated, our ranks split as the gates twisted and hurled them across the unholy realm. Some of our warriors appeared near to the ga to gates they had walked before, but found that vile priests had barred the way back. Then the tr that the uh, bleh, that the vile priests. Then the trap was sprung, and each lone Argenta found himself set upon by bloodthirsty multitudes of demonic beasts. Let it not let it be known that it was not the priests alone who failed the northern armies, but one of the sentinels' own. Hell found his weakness and exploited it to the demise of Argentiner. If not for the betrayer's stroke of madness, the wraith's power would still be our own, and the sentinel flag would still rise above Argentiner to this day. Da da da! Oh look, it's the priests. They were bad the whole time. Anyways, what's this? Shall we, I guess? Ooh, still got a ways to go downwards. That yeah, looks pleasant. Spiffy looking throne you got there. Guy who has the throne there. Can't just punch the floor, can I? No! I'm Doom Guy. I punch everything else just fine. Why can't I punch floor? Why? I have to drop the giant thing there. But I just want to punch the floor. Anything in this room?
this platform. It doesn't appear to do anything. You know, there should have been a Doom guy somewhere in that cinematic little cutscene there, just falling to the ground with the things, because I totally was flying through the air right next to the giant thingamajig as it fell. Oh, what's up there? Why, there's a hole in the wall. Found the secret. Didn't stick the landing, though. What's in there? Let's go find out. Yep. Yeah. There we go. Rage Quake Two. How we crunch. Uh-oh, gonna go swimming again. Or it's just a really awesome suit, you know? This is still like the 90s or something. It's a rad suit. Or was that more like 80s? I don't know. Oh well, gonna go way down. There's a little platform there to try and land on. successfully land on that little platform. I went by it and there's a secret there. He <laughs> headshots. All right. I heard pinky sounds. Apparently, I hit him. I thought I heard pinky sounds. Oh, you didn't spit out like any armor. I am disappointed. Like, you have no idea. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I. Definitely heard double rail. Definitely heard pinky sounds when that fight started. Don't tell me I just inadvertently gunned down the pinky without even thinking about it. In fact, I didn't even see a pinky. Was it a specter? I don't know. There's Paige over there.
Floor drain. Oh, that's not a shootable bit. That is a... Aha! Rad suit pickup. That, however, is a shootable bit. Cyber Mancubus. Not anymore, we don't. Got your saber all over my mancubus. Yeah, and then I killed it all, and there was blood everywhere. Look at all the chunks. Anyways, where am I going? The Sentinels, Part 14. Scattered in hell, abandoned by their clergy and reinforcements, the Sentinels prove their worth in what would be their final war with the forces of all evil. Unrelenting power in the face of certain death, the Sentinels crushed hundreds of demons and skewered titans. When their atlans held no more fuel, the Sentinels took to the ground and fought the swarms on land. All of hell knew of the betrayal, for it was without question the makers and the priests who had sowed the seeds of deceit long before the brave warriors passed through the gate. What hell saw that day was the beating heart of the free people of Argentinur. They did not flinch in the face of their own certain death. They died as they lived with sword and shield in hand, Erdak too low a place to house such giants. Theirs would be the fate of warrior gods remembered for all time. Lord Sash, the stalwart banner sergeant, was found with his war standard pierced through the throat of a great beast, his body surrounded by the corpses of enemies. Roan the mighty, the light faded from his eyes, had eviscerated such a multitude that their entrails clung to the black rocks like vines. Gore, relentless until the end, had broken his blade on the backs of his foes, and by the time he fell he had slain another two score with his hands alone. The priests believed the sentinels all slain, but we are Argenta, born to overcome. Rumors deemed heretical by the Order Deag persist and claim that the Slayer himself still rages in the unholy realm. None who live can know, for the future of Argent Dinner has been bent and twisted by the perverted vision of the Essence Drinkers. Never again will the light of the wraiths illuminate our world. All has fallen. If the Slayer does live, let him carry our vengeance forward. If he persists, let him wreak violence on those who have wronged us. May the blood of his sword never run dry. May his war never end until the guilty have been punished. And may this evil never again spread its shadow over another world. They died, but they killed a whole lot of people doing so. And, you know, they missed the doom guy. He's still here. Doom guy still out and about. I will take that mastery token. Thank you. The Crucible. Press V to unsheath. Then, oh my god, he just chopped the Mancubus clean in fucking half like that. Oh my god. 
Oh, that Baron of Hell just got butchered. Anyways, turn demons into smaller parts of demons. Each thing costs one pip. Ah, you there. Ah, ha, ha, Hassan, fucking chop! Alright. Pain Elemental I saw up there? I believe it was. Baron of Hell. Hey, bud. Got a present for you. There's a big old fireball going right by my head. Slice and dice! Oh no. There's an arch file somewhere. I'm ruin his day. Oh, Mr. Archvile, I've got a present for you. Or oh, did the Doom Hunters get in? Yes, they did. Come here, Doom Hunter. I've got a present for you. <laughs> I'm gonna cut you in half, or something, or other. I wasn't aiming for the pinky, but I will gladly remove a pinky. Excuse me, sir. Critical damage? Don't you critical damage, sir. I'll show you critical damage. Oh, I missed. How embarrassing. <laughs> Fucking Doom Hunter dodged. You piece of shit. Give me another crucible charge. There's got to be another one around here somewhere. I don't want to actually fight the Doom Hunter the normal way. It's slightly obnoxious. On the other hand, where'd you go, fuckface? On the other hand, he fell apart like that. Oh, I don't have bullets! But without bullets, there can be no bullet wound! The heads just pop off. So nice. Let's see, is that it? I didn't see a note about fast travel unlocked. But, I can fast travel. So, let's go. Gotta go back to the start. Get that battery I missed. Where was that? Just down there.
Alright, so how do we get down in there? Hmm. Ah. How did I miss that? Probably because I didn't look over the edge and go, hey, there's a spot to stand on down there. Alright, what else did I miss? I am missing one thing. Ah, yes, that's right. A spot down the giant, uh... Spot down the giant, uh... Shaft that I missed. All right, let's see how many tries it takes me to do this one. Oh, it's about time to wrap it up. Fortunately, we're like done here almost. I say shit. I didn't even see that spot sticking out when I was falling. Ha! Ah, found it. You know. I can just teleport back to the end now. This is like right where I just was. Whatever. <laughs> I just get to jump off this now. Gotta go fill in the map spot over here. Whee! Alright, that's everything found. I did all my challenges. I've got four suit points. start unlocking some of my um, exploration stuff. Because, well, that's what I have to spend points on. Alright! Yes! Um, guess what? I killed all the demons. Killed the Slayer Gate demons. Killed the secret demons. Did all the challenges. found all the fun things. And what are my rewards? Experience. 66,000 experience. Unlocking things that I don't know. Yeah. Level 11. Look at all that stuff. Whatever. Anyways, back to base. We'll wrap it up for this part. Because it is time to wrap it up for this part. Erdag is the Maker's home world. It is not accessible to anyone. No human or sentinel has ever set foot in their dimension. You can use the Maker's Origin Factory in the Hell City of Necrovol to pass through the void. Once there, you will not be able to leave. But Vega can create an exit portal for you. That is why you must bring Vega through the void with you to Erda. Understood. I'm detaching myself from the ship's systems. Processing. Total transfer to external drive complete. Vega is no longer connected to your ship. I will reconfigure the portal to Necrowall for you. All right. Do you require anything else before we begin our journey to Erda? You will not be able to return until the mission is complete. Uh-oh, last chance, last time to do things until I'm done. This is the point of no return. So, ladies and gentlemen, 
Once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you've been enjoying. As always, if you have any suggestions or recommendations for games that you think I should play that might make for a good series like this at some point in the future, or if you just wish to give me a shout, give me some feedback, come on how I'm doing. Am I doing good? Am I doing bad? If I'm doing bad, what can I go to do if I'm doing bad to doing good? Or if you just wish to inform me that I am a terrible person because... Because I went to sword chop that doom hunter in half, but instead he dodged, so I ended up just chopping the zombie in half instead. And looking kind of silly for wasting my crucible charge on a wee little zombie? You may inform me of such in the comment box below. PC, PS4, and Switch for recording suggestions, as that is all that I can currently record on right now. And as always, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, then please subscribe to the channel. We will be kept up to date whenever I post up new videos, and then you won't ever have to miss out on any of the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, if you know of another awesome might enjoy watching this sort of thing, please share this video or one of my other videos with them. Point them in my general direction so maybe they might potentially swing by and be entertained by the shenanigans that go down in this my little corner of the internet. Also, you should follow me on Twitter, at NanoElite666, as I'll be using that to make news, updates, and announcements and such regarding the channel whenever the need should arise in the future. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I thank you all for watching. I hope you have been enjoying. I'm NanoElite666, and I will see you all next time.